Welcome back. 547 now on Daybreak. Aqua Falls, Kaufman's Bakery, and Kit, the car from Knight Rider. They all made news this very week in decades past. Channel 2's Dave McKinley looks back to when those stories and more were all news to you. Ten years ago this week, Forbes ranked Buffalo the nation's most affordable city to buy a home. Ten years later, its most recent ranking shows Buffalo is now the ninth most affordable. But hey, if you think that's rough, remember, we had a blizzard here this week in 2014. 20 years ago this week, and about five years after it was announced with much anticipation, the Aqua Falls project in Niagara Falls still remained a large hole in the ground, which would eventually be filled and made into a parking lot. The Seneca Nation was eyeing this parcel near the airport in Chictawaga for its third Western New York casino, the one they would eventually build instead near Buffalo's Old First Ward. The Apprentice was in its first season on television, starring Amorosa and you know who, and things were getting rough for Sears once the nation's largest retailer to the point where they sold their tower in Chicago, which at the time stood as the world's tallest building. The final loaves of bread were baked at Kaufman's when after 67 years it shuttered its Fillmore Avenue plant and laid off its remaining workforce, and baby Joe Macy pushed his record to 29-0 in a fight during which this illegal blow to the back of the head would cause a subdural hematoma which days later led to the suspension of his boxing license in the prime of his career, derailing his hopes for a heavyweight championship and one of the greatest what-ifs in the history of Buffalo sports began to unfold this week in 2004. 30 years ago this week. He has had his chance. But few gave much of a chance to this relatively unknown state senator from Peekskill as he set out to dethrone three-term incumbent New York Governor Mario Cuomo. But that November, George Pataki would be elected governor eight months after announcing his candidacy during a swing through Buffalo this week in 1994. Forty years ago this week, when City Hall spokesman Mike DeGeorge looked more like, uh, well, the boy DeGeorge, not far from a faded talking proud sign, could be spotted Kit the car from Knight Rider. This week's news to you pop quiz, what kind of car was Kit? We'll take the make, model, and year, if you please, of that once popular co-star of the once popular TV series, which could be found parked outside the Channel 2 studios this week in 1984. Remember, this was back when breakdancing was reaching the height of its popularity, and when, on Super Tuesday, Democrats were choosing between Walter Mondale, Gary Hart, Jesse Jackson, and John Glenn. Air conditioning unit number 75 million rolled off the production line at Harrison Radiator in Lockport, the employee parking lot was still full at the Ford stamping plant. We paid a buck sixteen for gas and inserted nozzles into fuel tank fillers found behind license plates. We shopped at the Como Park Mall and ate at your host. And Buffalo played host to something called the Gourmet Gala. Oh, what's this? Don't mind if I do. And I didn't mind if I did. Back in the days when it was all news to you. Wow. Okay, here's the answer to this week's news to you pop quiz. Before we get to it, though, do you guys have any guesses? Trans Am. It's a Trans Am, but I don't know, I don't know what the year. Pontiac, Pontiac Trans Am, but yep. we don't know what year. Okay, yes, you guys were right. It is from Knight Rider. It was outside our studio 40 years ago, 1982, Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Oh, all right. Driven by... David Hasselhoff. Oh, the Hoff. The Hoff. And Kit stood for Night Industries 2000. I did not know that. I didn't know it either oh. until I read. The Kaufman's David Bakery. Kim. My grandfather worked no there. Way. Yeah, and it was always great to you know have the fresh bread and rolls from Kaufman's growing up with oh, him working yeah, there. Yeah, and the, the smell of Kaufman. It, there were Buffalo's iconic smells, smells. like yeah. Cheerios right. and bread baking, and it was uh, it's an age gone by, except for the Cheerios. But uh, what other famous Trans Am? Oh, come on. Start, uh, 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 Burt Reynolds and Smokey and the, Smokey Smokey and the Bandit. Bandit. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That was a 77. Yeah, that was. It was yeah. actually a 76 modified. More on that in a moment. <laughs>